we have Brandy Grady from Aldrich with her seventh grader, Brian. <laughs> okay, um, I am the media specialist and teach sixth grade and seventh grade um, computers. This year we started a web 2.0 class and we wanted to make it realistic and we wanted to make it where they're actually creating content that's going on the web. So for one of our projects we made book trailers and they made video book trailers and they had to then post them on their school YouTube accounts through our Google Drive account and create QR codes and use them. And these book trailers that they made are, the QR codes aren't here, they're actually really going to be used. They're on YouTube, they're going to be posted all over the library, and the QR codes are on the book covers. So this is a real project and the kids are really using these, and I've actually had teachers ask if they can take these to their classroom so other kids can see the books. So Brian is going to share his experience with making it, and then he's going to teach you how to do QR codes. And you can see some of the videos. Um, this is my iPod, iPad reflecting, and iMovie is the program that I used. We made a book trailer and this we had to create it and this is kind of the outline on how you do it. Uh, you type in your name, this is kind of the credits and then you have to place all your pictures and you can even put videos in the slides and and the only bad thing about using iMovie is all these slides, you can't delete them. So it's probably easier to do it on the computer. Um, this is the project that I did. No. No, she is not, actually. Um, uh, me and my partner, Kyla, we uh, made this. It took probably a week I think we had to put a lot of pictures and we put some random kind of slide videos that they had and then we have our QR reader um the main thing is that you have the QR code kind of scanned right on the camera and you have to make sure the red line goes over the whole thing there you go and then it, you sh it should link right to it. It had music. <laughs> but... Okay, what are you doing here? Um, um, but that's the main thing. Um, oh, there we go. Watch it. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Um, so please open up your QR readers on your iPads. Um, as he's passing those out, I just wanted to share one other thing. <laughs> As he's passing this out, one of the things that I think the students struggled with this project the most, the critical thinking of it was, because this is a real project and it's posted online, they had to be very careful following copyright rules and they had to find um, images that were licensed so that they could use them. Um, you know, some of them did Hunger Games, they all wanted pictures from the movie and I was like, you don't have permission, the photographer didn't say you could use that picture and they really struggled, struggled with that for a couple of days and then finally one day it was just like that and they all did it. and. It was a really amazing experience, and the project is just going to improve. <laughs> we have sound now, so let's put one of them up here. Um, the 
this is my part, um, the other person that did a really good project in our class named Ben. Should be right. Yeah, it's on there. Hey, unreflect and do it again. There we go. Um, here we go. Video won't start. The video won't start. Um, video won't start. This is realistic. <laughs> This is my project. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and then, this is this was Ben's. Did he mix his own beats for that? No. I like the, no? All right. I like that. Um, for, this was an Animoto one, and I used iMovie, so that shows you kind of which ones you can use. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to show was if this will load...
Um, if I click on a picture, I can control its start shot so it would move when it's end. So like if I started it here and then I moved it and it was like right there, then it, it would move back and forth. I thought that was pretty cool that you could do that with iMovie. And that's pretty much it. Um, the main thing I like about learning with the iPads is that you can pretty much do more things than you could just do in a classroom with the resources you have. This way you have access to, like, internet without having to check out, like, a computer or something like that. You have your access and it's kind of an individual thing. You don't have to, like, share or anything like that.